fire. Everybody, it's Boys of the Most Toys coming at you, and here with another review of Transformers Generations. Uh, figure this time, it's Rat Trap, and uh, this one actually I look a little excited about. This one looks pretty cool compared to the Rat Traps we've seen back when Beast Wars was airing on TV, and then other reincarnations since. Um, compared to the Tankor, which I previously reviewed, I'm thinking this one might be my favorite. Uh, Beast Wars era figure so you can see the packaging he's in his robot mode you can see the little mouse mode there and if we just flip it around to the back we can see the uh, tech specs and all the other junk so and of course we've got the beast the maximal symbol there so let's get it cracked open and check it out Okay, and we're out of the package here with Rat Trap. He's definitely a mouse, a rat, whatever you want to call him. And he is definitely uh, an interesting bot. He hide, well, his undercarriage has a lot of the robot parts, but you can see the top does, in fact, look like a rat. And he has kind of these springy fingers and springy tail. And uh, it's not bad. It's not bad compared to what we see in the past. So transformation... It's a little hairy, so you got to kind of, it's kind of like a shell, so you got to take the the bits apart, and that's the only thing that bugs me a bit. You hear a lot of scrunching and crunching because there's some, a lot of tabbing going on here. You want to kind of pull out the legs a bit and move the front legs out of the way a bit, and then you want to pull them, kind of the shoulders out of the way, kind of spread them open like a lab experiment pull out the robot arms and then you want to kind of pull out the leg sections so he's all splayed open here so to finish the robot leg transformation now let's just see if we can get this out without breaking it so we want to wiggle the robot arms out of the way so the legs are kind of interesting they kind of split so you kind of have to move them out of the way then you have to kind of unsplit the piece like that and this has got a lot of hinges for something so small and pull down like so put the rat foot in like that do the same on the other side so again it makes me a bit nervous because there's a lot of crunching and scrunching going on uh, pull this down two hinges that one worked a little better put the the mouse foot in like so then you got to kind of crunch again all this section up in the back kind of can crunch up and move and move the tail and stuff so then you kind of get it out of the way like that but it becomes a lot of back kibble so arms move them around to position like so and then rat head or mouse head you pull down and revealing you can move it kind of his rat hands out of the way but you do see the result is quite nice and quite show accurate in robot mode too so will he stand with all his kibble yes he will so here he is it's rat trap and I have to say they did quite a good job considering there's a lot of kibble and a lot of uh, tabs you get a tab together he has some good posability if you don't make him too back heavy. And he has this nice gun here. You can see posability. It's pretty good. The head moves. Yes, it does. So not bad, not bad. I think this guy's going to look pretty cool. Um, compared to Tankor, though, I think he's a lot bigger, which kind of is a bit ironic. So let me just bring him in. Well, he's about the same height as Tankor, so that's a bit weird because he was kind of his little buddy, or Rhinox's little buddy in the show. So, other than that, guys, I'd have to say of the Beast War style uh, Generations figures for this year, uh, for the 30th anniversary, I have to say this one is pretty cool. And in this Voyager class, of course, it's a lot of fiddling to do, but the end result is quite nice. So, if you want to pick it up for your collection, it's, it's quite a nice Beast Warmer. And uh, it's not bad. Pick it up. We'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks for watching. Watch for more interviews, reviews, 
and for more custom lego builds. we'll talk to you soon everyone. take care.